Hello team, welcome to another ATP Geopolitics video with myself, Jonathan M.S. Pierce. Just before we get on, I get on to do my geopolitics recording, I just want to give you an update to the strike on Jankoi this morning. Uh, I think it's worthy of a breaking news update because it was potentially, probably, a, a set of ATACAN's ballistic missiles, which is very important in and of itself because it means Ukraine does have them. They've either been waiting to release these at the right time or have just got them, which both of those means that they have the capabilities. It's in interesting for different reasons. If they just got them, it means they are able to get these ATACAM's missiles outside of the American uh, impasse in Congress there for military aid. And it could be because they are already bought and paid for, if you like. They're just waiting to, to be delivered as the US stockpiles are um, are seeing the advent of the new PRISM missile that is replacing the ATACM. So that could be what's happening. I don't know. Anyway, it appears that they have probably used them and hit Jankoy in the northern part of uh, Crimea. Uh, the firm's data here shows that there were at least six large explosions at the uh, airbase. Uh, that keeps uh, Mi helicopters, also Ka-52 helicopters, and also there are S-400, as an S-400 anti-aircraft missile system, surface air missile system, uh, and S-300 combined, actually, it appears. So, no report says an image of the alleged consequences of the attack on Jankoi Air Base in occupied Crimea overnight has now emerged. Reportedly, three S-400 launchers and a radar were destroyed. So that's absolutely brilliant. You get both components there, the launching, the TEL, Transporter Elect Erector Launcher, as well as uh, the radar component, but not the entire entirety of the battery, but a really important part of it. In addition, it's reported that two S-300 launchers and premises that held anti-aircraft missiles, as well as Russian, Russian personnel, were hit. So that could be five launchers and a radar. Now, I would expect... You know, Jankoi to be uncovered uh, by air defences and therefore ripe for being hit again, uh, possibly. Interesting, I'm just hearing now that drones are attacking Mordovia, a radar unit some 600 kilometres into Russia from the front line. That's interesting. And an uh, aircraft factory in Tatarstan is also presently being targeted by drones right now, uh, GUR drones. So th the Ukrainians are hitting these military installations Interestingly, not oil refineries. I think the Ukrainians have changed their behavior. We haven't seen them hit oil refineries since this whole thing kind of blew up in their faces. Well, not in their faces, but since the Americans said, please don't do that. Uh, and I think they're weighing up the pros and cons and are actually moving towards taking out military installations, which is, is, not, is not a bad alternative. Let, let's face it. I mean, you either hit them in the in the wallet where they can't fund the war or you hit them in their capabilities so they can't do the war right you know okay i'm really annoyed you aren't letting us hit the refineries but let's let's take out some factories and some s300 s400 launches and whatnot yep okay so yeah uh, the ukrainians i think are having uh, have had a very successful night in terms of what what they potentially hit at jankoi and i i think there's probably a lot more to that i th i think you will find uh, some airframes will have been taken out as you can see those aprons on the those those little kind of parking bays on the airstrip have been hit it looks like by the firm's data at least um Ilya Ponomarenko here talking about the idea that Russians are complaining, or at least Ukrainians are taking the mickey out of Russians complaining. I don't know how much they are. They probably are. Uh, that you've got an S-400, one of the best air defense systems here, being taken out by the very missiles it's supposed to protect against. Of course, these are ATACMs, so they are ballistic missiles that are quite difficult to shoot down, right? And we, we see that with the Kinjals and uh, Iskander, uh, Iskander missiles, Iskander M missiles. Uh, KM uh, missiles, the, the ballistic is kind of missiles and other similar ones. They're so difficult for the Ukrainians to shoot down, and that's why they need Patriots. Well, this possibly says that the Patriots operate better than S 400s. Um, but anyway, Ilya Ponomarenko says destroyed Russian S 400 launch units at Janko and Occupy Crimea. Russians are puking blood and yelling that it was MGM 148 Takums. But let's wait and see. I mean, we don't know yet for sure, but it's, it's looking good for the Ukrainians. Anyway, a little bit of an update there to give you uh, an idea that some really high value equipment has been taken out in, in those 
pretty significant strikes on Jankai. Incredibly powerful um, lighting up of the sky there. This, it, was, it was really bright, so there was definitely a lot of damage done to something around there, and it was apparently cooking off for many hours. And so, yeah, you're pretty sure uh, that, that even if there weren't direct hits on the airframes, if you're going to have secondary explosions from missiles from an S400, S300 system cooking off, far, firing off all over the shop, you can do some serious damage to stuff nearby. You go back to the firm's imagery here, and you're going to have missiles potentially firing off into the airbase infrastructure, infrastructure or hitting airframes and whatnot. And if you do hit the airframes as well, they're, they're likely to have munitions on board or munitions in warehouses nearby that can cook off and cause secondary damage as well. So I think, you know, there's a high probability that that, that attack last night or this morning did an awful lot of damage to Jankoi. Uh, let's wait and see what details come out. Anyway, uh, on with my geopolitical video.